So we're looking now at a program where we're taking an analog signal on our uh, Allen Bradley SLC 500 PLC. We're taking an analog signal in through input card three channel one, card three word one, this 16 bit word. We're gonna take that number right there. We've already scaled it, so it's gonna read out on a scale of 3,000 to 8,000, which is a fixed point notation for 30 degrees to 80 degrees. We've already talked about doing the scale command here. We've added one more rung to the program that's going to examine that analog input value. If it falls below a count of 3,000, it's going to flag an output saying, hey, we've got ourselves a bad loop. Because we found out through testing that four to 20 milliamps on that analog input channel gives us an A to D converter count of 3276 to 16,386. So we figure anything below 3,000, significantly below four milliamps, we've got some sort of problem with the wiring or with the instrument. So over here, what I'm gonna do is hook up my current source again. This is my Fluke current source. Set it for sourcing milliamps. I'll go to four milliamps right here connected to channel zero on the analog card. And there we go, channel zero, and you see right there our destination address inside the scale box is reading 3,000. Remember that was gonna be 30 degrees, that's fixed point notation, 30.00, so 3,000. If I step up to 12, or sorry, 20 milliamps, full scale, that's supposed to be 8,000, or 80 degrees with the implied decimal point. So notice here, the less than instruction we put down the next rung is reading that raw signal value that's the one that topped out at 16,386. There we go, 16,385 right there. And we're comparing that against a fixed value of 3,000. If it drops below that, I want to turn on up output. So I'm going to go down 16 milliamps, 12 milliamps, 8 milliamps, 4 milliamps. Here we are, bottom of the scale, 4 milliamps, at the count of 3,276. We're still above the limit of 3,000, so we haven't turned our output on yet. Go down here, haven't turned our output on yet. But if I drop down below, like here, zero milliamps, boom, you see that output coil come on. It's now telling us, hey, we've got a problem with our signal. We're too far below four milliamps. And in fact, you can see that right here. Move the camera over here for a moment, if you could. And we can see the output. There's the output channel. It's lit. It's actually lighting that output up. As I make the milliamps go up, notice that light is going to go off. So here we go. Turning the milliamps up and the light goes off. Milliamps go down, light comes on. So I've got the automatic detection of a milliamp problem being too far below four milliamps. Make sense? I can actually, yeah. uh, yeah. cool, <laughs> all right. So what I can do here is, oh gee, I'm looking for, yeah, looking at, there we go, I wanna shift this over. And let's see, there we go. So watch my milliamps now, I'm gonna see where we actually trip. Um, I'm at 4.1 milliamps. I'm gonna go down, go down, go down. Let's see how far I have to go down before that light comes on. Right there, 3.6 milliamps. I get that light. I go to uh, 3.7 milliamps, light goes off. I can actually scroll over and go in finer steps. 3.69, 3.68, 3.67, right there, 3.66. So anything below now 3.67 milliamps turns that output light on. And that's the count value. You can see on the screen of the PLC now, 3.66 milliamps is a count value of 29.97. 3.67 milliamps is a count value of 3,007. Our limit there was 3,000, so we're going right above and right below that limit we programmed in. So we're actually uh, checking the milliamp signal to see if it's uh, significantly below 4 milliamps. And if it is, it turns out that I'm saying, hey, you have a problem. We could actually take that output bit right there, configure it in the HMI to send us an email. If this milliamp signal drops below this value, email Tony and say, hey, we've got a wiring problem. Cool, huh? Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, <laughs> automation. I like to take a negative. I thought that's kind of cool, but that's... that's well, you know, we can try that. Uh, we can try going negative here and see if we can actually read that. We can still read the raw count values. Let's see. I turn this on again. Okay, source. 4 milliamps, I'm gonna go backwards. So let's see what sort of count value we get here. Looks like, uh, yeah, source, minus 3277, see that? Yeah. And now I'm reading that right on the raw input, minus 3277. And then I'll go up in milliamps, so there's eight milliamps, so there's minus 6554, there's minus 9831, so it's measuring negative milliamps too. Cool. All right, this is neat. So we got ourselves a working analog card, working processor, working I.O. 
We got ourselves a PLC. It's ready to program and use. Thank you. All right, thank you.